I draw my inspiration from the desert sunset, from a flower in bloom, from things, a cable cord wrapped around a chair. These sort of things inspire me. <laughs> I got a, a directing agent in LA for a short film that I made. It was about the time The Life Aquatic came out in the movie theaters. And they're like, wow, you're in The Life Aquatic. You know, do you want acting representation as well? And I was like, that'd be great. That's awesome. I love acting, you know? I feel guilty how quickly it just worked out. But I went on this audition early on. And it was one of the first few auditions I went on. Do you know how many pregnant women are diagnosed with bed rest each year? Nearly 700,000. My agent kept calling and saying, yeah, they, they said you're amazing, but you're completely wrong for the part. And I was like, thanks, real cool, man. And then the next day, they, they, I, I want you to read again, though, and I would go in. Do you know how many pregnant women are prescribed bed rest each year? Nearly 700,000. They say you're incredible, completely wrong for the part. I'm like, brilliant. One more time I go in, guess what? They think you're incredible, totally wrong for the part. And then the fourth time, they're like, they're getting sick of seeing you, they're going to hire you. Going to the swimming pool location, which I believe is some house on Ventura Boulevard, past Lankersham. All right, we're good, man. Wow, we're even on time. As long as you're 10 minutes earlier than Shamar, you're all right. And this is where I always get totally screwed up. So Lankersham, all right, Ventura, Coanga, Vineland, and Ventura. Wow, we're so lost. Ow! Woo! Two minutes early, Marla, what do you think? I think it's a trend. Wait, what time is it? Six minutes early, good grief. This episode, which you will also come to know as the Spencer Reed kiss, and it was uh, Matthew's first screen kiss, and he was exceptionally nervous, uh, far more nervous than the girl was. I've never kissed a girl in a movie. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's pretty, it's pretty nerve wracking. I'm gonna be in the pool with a uh, girl who's pretty easy on the eyes. Last night I was in the bathtub and I looked at the prelim and there's literally like two scenes for the entire day and it's Reed and Lila in the swimming pool kissing, which means there's gonna be a lot of time. We're gonna be shooting that a lot. I might even get chapped lips. I'm better wear a chapstick because I think there's gonna be a lot of smooching. Pretty good? Pretty all right? Do I have like dead skin hanging out? I counted each one of the, this, the kisses and there's like six or seven. And I got a lot of advice from everybody, from Mandy, from Shamar, from Lola, and they told me a lot of, everything told me, everyone told me exactly different things. And that's not helping out at all. Mandy's like, Matthew, just let it happen, let it happen. Shamar was like, slip her the tongue. <laughs> Lola said that on no circumstance do you French kiss the girl. And I was like I was going to, it wasn't like I was gonna be like, hey, what's up? I've been um, doing this every night in the bathtub. And then I kind of think about it and I go, soft. No, I don't, I don't nothing, I don't know. I, I just memorize my lines and I'm a little bit worried. Because the other thing I realized is, as far as your breath goes, you don't want it to be too fresh. Because if you if it's too fresh, she's like, what's that guy hiding? Why, well, it's kind of creepy, you know? It's like a little bit too much cologne. I kind of know this girl prior to this job, so it makes it all the more stressful. I hope she doesn't think that, like, I recommended her just so I could make out with her. Because really, I, I did recommend her, but it was more like they wanted someone that looked like Grace Kelly. And I was like, I know a girl looks like her. And I gave her the name. And then... She happened to be the best, but now everyone's joking around like, oh, you just want to make out with her, and she was the best for the part, you know? But now it's, I just feel like a scumbag. Hello, Amber, how are you doing today? Good, Mr. I like your shirt. Thank you. It's scary, right? Intimidating, right? Wow. Pretty scary, right? Kind of beautiful, you know what I'm saying? She hear me say that? She did, didn't she? That was loud. Yikes. Not cool, Google. Not cool. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. You probably smooched a lot of people on screen. I've never smooched anyone in life or on screen. So today's the first day that it all happens. It's magic. I've been it's taking lessons. Day. Barry and Dane and from you, BJ. Remember that pillow you made him? The pillow with your face on? Yeah. Check his arms. I think he's all of it down. I've been doing I have been, Oh yeah. 
I'm pretty freaked out, man. I'm not gonna lie, right? A little bit awkward. I've heard I've heard rumors that my voice dipped 17 octaves when I went into the pool, and I think that was sheer terror coming out, manifesting itself. It was terrifying, man. Beautiful girl in a pool, and I have to pull in. And when you kiss, do you you know, is there a tongue involved? I don't know. You know, is there? I. Who knows? In real life, I don't even know. How am I supposed to know on TV, you know? It was really cute because the first time we did it, he completely forgot his lines and apologized afterward and said, I forgot everything I was supposed to say for obvious reasons because the girl kept kissing his neck and she would kiss him and he completely forgot everything that he was supposed to say. And then what, what do I say? No, I'm, there's a thing called... No, oh yeah, yeah wait, wait, but then, then I kiss her a little bit, right? That's the one yes. where I go... So wait, she well, goes, this, actually, so she goes such a big deal and then Reed grabs her. Should we run him? Yes, please. After that scene, I became a man. <laughs>